But when you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your father who is in secret. And your father who sees in secret will reward you. Matthew 6 and 6. Hey you guys, it's your girl Emilda J. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm really excited about today's video because this is something that I really wanted to do for a while now. I just moved into a new place and I really wanted to dedicate um, like a space to just have my prayer time and my one-on-one -on -one time with God. And so what I did was just use a corner in my bedroom. Some people have prayer rooms. Some people have prayer closets. I actually had a prayer closet when I was in my, my previous places but this time i don't know i could have used my closet but i decided to just go ahead and use this corner in my room and i think it came out really good i mean you guys can let me know what i did was i did purchase some new things but some of the stuff i already had um yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video Okay, so like I mentioned before, I did purchase a few things to use for my prayer corner and this package just arrived from Amazon. I'll show you exactly what's inside of it in the upcoming clips. I had a vision of what I wanted my prayer corner to look and feel like. I wanted it to be like a peaceful, comfortable spot for me. And if you are not familiar with what like a war room or prayer closet looks like or what is the whole purpose of it, Obviously, yes, you're going to use it as a place for prayer, but you're also going to use it as a place where you can rest in God and a place where you can hear from God, a place where you can cry out to God, a place where you can cast your cares on God. And I mean, the list can go on and on. All right, so here is what the room or the corner looks like before I do anything to it. I already broomed and mopped up the floor, so pretty much I'm ready to get started. If you saw my last video, you'll know that I bought these lights from Burlington. They're just some string lights that you can hang on your wall, um, and they're pretty self-explanatory. The only thing is, when I initially wanted to do it, I wanted to hang them up where the string lights were going vertically down but because they didn't go down far enough or like they weren't as long as I thought they were I ended up just putting them um, horizontally like this and I think it still looks really really good you know you just got to work with what you have I already had the small white rug that you see and I just kind of used that as a base before I threw on this comforter. Right here I'm showing you guys this decal that I'm going to put on the wall. This is actually one of the things that came inside of the Amazon package. And this was the other thing that came inside of the Amazon package. It's just a silver wire basket that I'm going to use to hold my Bible and my notebook. So here is you guys, here is what the prayer corner looks like after everything is put together. And I think it came out so good. I love it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a little up close of everything that's here. And yeah, I'm really, really loving it, you guys. And here is just the blanket that I put on top of this little rug. And the blanket, um, I don't know where it came from. My mom gave it to me in these pillows I got from Burlington. And then the small one in the front, my mom also gave me that. So I'm not sure where that came from. But I thought it was good to just throw in something with some type of design. And then we have this blue and white throw blanket for some texture and for just some added comfort. And then here is my wall decal. Prayer changes things. Come on, y'all. Amen. Amen. Right? Prayer changes things.
and here are my lights you can see i hung it up with tape i don't know if that's the right way to do it but it works so and here is my beautiful plant i need to give her a name and it looks so good i think this plant just like really brings everything together and i have a little tissue on the corner because you know god be having me in my feelings sometimes and then i have a little cute vase with some little fake plants that i got from a dollar store i'll go ahead and show you guys exactly what's inside of my basket it so in the back i have my keyword study bible which i highly recommend and then i have my everyday bible which i've had like forever and then i have my devotional you guys need to go ahead and check it out the 40 day breakthrough devotional it's available on amazon i'll leave a link in the description below this is my new notebook i got from burlington don't mind the highlighters and pens down there i'm actually going to move them this is the end of the video you guys if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching